Bonjour Year 9, welcome to lesson 14 and your final lesson of this half term before the break, which you've all deserved. You've worked so hard with this new format of lesson and I've seen some absolutely fantastic work. You should be really proud. OK, in your lesson today, you're covering la nourriture. So you're covering food again with Monsieur Bolis. OK, Year 9, for today's lesson, you need the following equipment, the exercise book that the school gave you, a pen and a ruler, your knowledge organiser for module five, which is on class charts and can be opened in a window. And also you will be using wordreference.com with Monsieur Bollies. So if you have got access to this online dictionary, please also open it and a window. Please pause to get your things ready now. Please remember to email me if you have any questions at all about the activities you cover in the lesson today with Mr. Bullis, um, or if you want to receive an achievement point. Thank you everyone who sent me in their work from the last lesson. That should all be marked and it should have an achievement point on the system on class charts for you. So please keep sending it in. If you do um, speaking work as well, it'd be great to hear a sound file of what you're doing and I can give you feedback on that as well. And um, you can do that on an MP3 or MP4. Um, there have also been students nominated to send in work from this lesson. So please do send a, a copy in um, if you've been nominated and everyone else is welcome to as well. Okay, merci. OK, Year 9, can you copy the date in French? Vendredi 22 mai. And the title, J'aime les fraises. I like strawberries. And can you also write down the objective, l'objectif, which is to write about what you like to eat or drink. Pause to do that now. Now for your do now activity. Um, this should take about 10 minutes. I want you to copy the grids for the different verbs into your exercise book and then fill them in with the correct verb. So we've got, first of all, the verb you studied last lesson to drink, which is boire. And I want you to copy down the grid and then write down the French for that. Now you can use the, um, the help underneath the grid, or you can cover that up or not look at it and just write it down as you remember it, okay? Once you've done boire, I'd like you to do the same thing for prendre as well, okay? And again, for prendre, you will see that the help is underneath if you need it. OK, take your time to do that now and press play when you're ready to get the answers. OK, let's take a look at the verb boire. First of all, I drink, je bois. You drink, tu bois. She drinks, elle boit. We drink, nous bouvons. You drink. Vous bouvez, and that's the plural, or the polite version. And then masculine drink, ils boivent. Prendre, I take, je prends. You singular take, tu prends. He takes, il prend. We take, nous prenons. You plural or polite take, vous prenez. And they feminine take, elles prennent. Really well done there, Year 9. So I'm going to pass you over to Monsieur Bullis now to teach the rest of the lesson. And you'll see on the final slides the students I've nominated to send in your work from today. Have a fantastic lesson and I will speak to you later. Merci. Au revoir. OK, here comes Activity 1. I'm now going to read you a text and I want you to follow it as I'm reading it. Mes goûts alimentaires. Je n'aime pas les fruits, à part les fraises et les framboises. Je déteste les légumes, surtout les carottes et le chou-fleur. Mais de temps en temps, je mange des petits pois. Je refuse de manger des œufs et je suis allergique au fromage et aux champignons. En revanche, j'adore le jambon et le saucisson. OK. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to copy the translation. I'm going to show you in a second and fill in the gaps. So here is your translation. And copy it in your exercise book and fill in the gaps. 
you cannot press pause and press play when you're ready to see the correction. Okay, so here is the correction to your first activity. Can you press pause and double check that you've got all the right words in the right place there? Then press play when you're ready for your next activity. For our next activity, we're going to look at two important pieces of grammar when we're talking about food. Now, the first one is like we did with fort, the use of du, de la, de, and de, l apostrophe. Because you've probably already noticed this is how it works when you talk about food. So let's have a look at an example. Du, you, je mange, je bois, je prends, with du followed by a masculine noun. So for example, je mange du poulet, I eat some chicken. So in English, you could say, I eat chicken or I eat some chicken. That do is really a translation of some, like you eating that item of food. Je mange, je bois, je prends, de la, and then feminine noun. So same principle, but this time the item is feminine. So for example, je bois de la limonade, which is I drink some lemonade. If an item of food starts with a vowel, you use de and then l apostrophe. So, for example, je prends de l'eau. I have some water. Now, remember that even if je prends means I take, when you talk about items of food, it's I have. That's um, the way you translate it. Finally, if the item is plural, and remember that actually you can put any item plural. So, if you want to say I eat chickens, um, you know, you can do that and, and change that first sentence into the plural version using des. So, for example, je mange des fraises, I eat strawberries, or I eat some strawberries. Good. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to copy the following bullet points, the following notes, on the use of du, de la, or de in um, your exercise book. So, press pause and press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, for the next part of the lesson, I want then to have a look at opinions because it's really, well, it, it is a bit different. So, for example, when we use je mange, je bois, je prends, if it was a masculine noun, we put du after. If you're giving your opinion, you say j'aime and then le, with a masculine noun. So, for example, j'aime le poulet. So, this time you've got a bit of a change. It's no longer du, it's le. If it's feminine, it's j'aime la. So, for example, j'aime la limonade. Start with a vowel, j'aime l'eau, and plural, j'aime les. So, for example, j'aime les fraises. And these are really your two important notes and things you really need to know and refer to when you're talking about food. So, now what I want you to do, I want you to copy the notes on opinions and food. So, the ones I've just presented to you. Press pause and press play when you're ready to do some practice activity. For your practice activities, uh, first I want you to copy and fill in the gaps on the sentences I'm going to show you in a minute, and then I want you to translate the sentences into English. Most of the vocabulary you're going to see, you know it. However, there are few items of food that maybe are not that familiar to you. So please use a word reference for words that you do not know. And here are the sentences I want you to write down and copy um, in your exercise book, and then fill in the gaps. A reminder on your screen as well that you use du after je mange, je bois or je prends if it's masculine, de la or feminine noun, de an apostrophe if it starts with a vowel, de if it's plural. And then when you're giving your opinion, it's le, la, l apostrophe and le. I hope it's now clear. You can have press pause and press play when you're ready to see the correction. Here is the correction to activity three. Number one, je mange des haricots car j'aime les haricots, which means, of course, I eat beans, as I like beans. Then it's du, mon frère boit du, so it's my brother drinks fruit juice and he loves fruit juice, so check that you got the du and the le in the correct position. Nous mangeons de la pastèque, et je n'aime pas la pastèque, so we eat watermelon, but I do not like watermelon. And the last one, was lie. Now check the pronunciation of that word. It's je mange de lie, mais je déteste lie. 
So sometimes I garlic, but I hate garlic. And a reminder about why I put those words in those places. You can have press pause and double check that all your work is correct. For your final activity, I now want you to write down your own text describing your eating habits. And I want you to include the following. What you eat and drink at each meal of the day. And that includes breakfast, lunch, snack and dinner. Your opinions about the items of food that you eat or drink. And time phrases and connective sealing it all up. So I'm going to put back on the screen two examples that we saw in this lesson and the last lesson. So the first one is um, opinions about items of food and then you've got all the different meals of the day, time phrases, as well as different um, items of food on there. Now feel free to use knowledge organizer or word reference if you want to add more to it. So you can now press pause and complete your written task. Bon travail, Year 9. Thank you for all your work today and all half term. Thank you for working so hard on the new format of lessons and sending me in so many photos of your fantastic work so I can see you are making excellent progress at home in your home learning. Today, could the following students please send me a picture of their work? You are nominated Louisa, Keris, Jemima, Talia, Lucy and Ahmed. Have a fantastic half term holiday. You really deserve it and I really look forward to our lessons after the one week break. Bon vacances, au revoir.